wanted to show you this universal filament holder uh, that I use. It has a it has a nice wide base, two molars, four bearings on there. Works for any any type of filament that I've that I've had. Any different size. Um, I've had. 500 gram rolls that I have put on there with the, the smaller spool. They've worked perfectly fine. Um, I've had some wider ones from uh, filaments.ca that have worked well on there. Um, I've been using these for over a year now and they have not let me down. In the summer months, I'll use this uh, DIY dry box. Um, I've got the filament holder inside there and just a hole that I've drilled in the bottom. Um, I'll need to, to re-dry these silicone beads and, uh, and this box will be ready to go for summer. Uh, this is just something I picked up at Walmart. It has the foam sealer on the top and then I have um, a gauge here so I can, I can take a look at the humidity and make sure that that is staying at a nice dry humidity. I even prefer this for the uh, Creality uh, CR30 print mill. Um, I found <laughs> I'm a little limited in space here. I've got my my uh, UPS here, the uh, the factory one that comes with, that comes with it would mount here, and then I'd have to have more space to remove the filament roll. Uh, but I find that this uh, this works really well uh, for the belt printer. It takes up less space, and I can easily just grab the roll off here and replace. So that's the universal filament holder slash roller from Bundle of Fun. Um, I have a link to it in the description below. If you have a different solution that you like or use, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. If you found this useful, give me a thumbs up and a follow.